The Book of Enoch Full Audio with Text Complete Version Welcome to our channel. Today, we're exploring the fascinating and enigmatic Book of Enoch. This ancient text, filled with apocalyptic visions and extraordinary tales, has intrigued scholars and believers for centuries. Why isn't it included in the biblical canon? What makes it so controversial? Join us as we dive into its origins, contents, and the reasons behind its exclusion from the Bible. If you enjoy uncovering the mysteries of ancient texts and delving into their historical and theological significance, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Chapter 1 1. The Words of the Blessing of Enoch Wherewith he blessed the elect and righteous, who will be too living in the day of tribulation, when all the wicked and godless are to be removed. And he took up his parable and said, Enoch, a righteous man, whose eyes were opened by God, saw the vision of the Holy One in the heavens, which the angels showed me. And from them I heard everything, and from them I understood as I saw, but not for this generation, but for a remote one which is three four to come. Concerning the elect I said, and took up my parable concerning them. The Holy Great One will come forth from his dwelling. For and the eternal God will tread upon the earth, even on Mount Sinai, and appear from his camp, and appear in the strength of his might from the heaven of heavens. Five and all shall be smitten with fear, and the watchers shall quake, and great fear and trembling shall seize them unto the ends of the earth. Six and the high mountains shall be shaken, and the high hills shall be made low, and shall melt like wax before the flame. Seven and the earth shall be wholly rent in sunder and all that is upon the earth shall perish. And there shall be a judgment upon all men. Eight, but with the righteous he will make peace, and will protect the elect, and mercy shall be upon them. And they shall all belong to God, and they shall be prospered, and they shall all be blessed. And he will help them all, and light shall appear unto them, and he will make peace with them. Nine, and behold, he cometh with ten thousands of his holy ones, to execute judgment upon all, and to destroy all the ungodly, and to convict all flesh, of all the works of their ungodliness which they have ungodly committed, and of all the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Chapter 2 One observe ye everything that takes place in the heaven, how they do not change their orbits, and the luminaries which are in the heaven, how they all rise and set in order each in its season, and to transgress not against their appointed order. Behold ye the earth, and give heed to the things which take place upon it from first to last, how steadfast they are, how none of the things upon earth three change, but all the works of God appear to you. Behold the summer and the winter, how the whole earth is filled with water, and clouds and dew and rain lie upon it. Chapter 3 Observe and see how in the winter all the trees seem as though they had withered and shed all their leaves, except fourteen trees which do not lose their foliage, but retain the old foliage from two to three years till the new comes. Chapter 4 And again, observe ye the days of summer, how the sun is above the earth over against it. And you seek shade and shelter by reason of the heat of the sun. And the earth also burns with growing heat, and so you cannot tread on the earth or on a rock by reason of its heat. Chapter 5 One observe ye how the trees cover themselves with green leaves and bear fruit. Wherefore give ye heed and know with regard to all his works, and recognize how he that lieth forever hath made them so. Two and all his works go on thus from year to year forever, and all the tasks which they accomplish for him, and their tasks change not, but according as God hath ordained so is it done. Three and behold how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish and change not their tasks from his commandments. Four but ye ye have not been steadfast, nor done the commandments of the Lord. But ye have turned away and spoken proud and hard words, with your impure mouths against his greatness. O oh, ye hard-hearted, ye shall find no peace. Five, therefore, shall ye execrate your days, and the years of your life shall perish, and the years of your destruction shall be multiplied in eternal execration, and ye shall find no mercy. Six, say in those days, ye shall make your names an eternal execration unto all the righteous. Be and by you shall all who curse, curse. And all the sinners and godless shall imprecate by you. 7c, and for you the godless there shall be a curse. 6d, and all the shall rejoice. E, and there shall be forgiveness of sins. F, and every mercy and peace and forbearance. 
Gee, there shall be salvation unto them, a goodly light. I am for all of you sinners, there shall be no salvation. J, but on you all shall abide a curse. 7a, but for the elect there shall be light and joy and peace. B, and they shall inherit the earth. 8, and then there shall be bestowed upon the elect wisdom. And they shall all live and never again sin, either through ungodliness or through pride. But they who are wise shall be humble. 9, and they shall not again transgress. Nor shall they sin all the days of their life. Nor shall they die of the divine anger or wrath but they shall complete the number of the days of their life, and their lives shall be increased in peace, and the years of their joy shall be multiplied in eternal gladness and peace all the days of their life. Chapter 6 1. And it came to pass, when the children of men had multiplied, that in those days were born unto to them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose us wives from among the children of men three, and beget us children. And Simjaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear ye will not for indeed agree to do this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations. Five not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together, and bound themselves six by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all two hundred, who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon, because they had sworn seven and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And these are the names of their leaders, Samlazaz, their leader, Arachoba, Ramiel, Cochabel, Tamil, Ramlel, Danel, Ezekiel, Barakigil, Adasael, Armeros, Baderol, Ananol, Zachiel, Samsapiel, Saderol, Turel, Jamiel, Sariel. These are their chiefs of tens. Chapter 7 One and all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, and each chose for himself one. And they began to go in unto them, and to defile themselves with them. And they taught them charms too and enchantments, and the cutting of roots, and made them acquainted with plants. And they three became pregnant. And they bare great giants, whose height was three thousand ells, who consumed four all the acquisitions of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against five of them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds, and beasts, and reptiles, and six fish, and to devour one another's flesh, and drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. Chapter 8 One and Azazel taught men to make swords, and knives, and shields, and breastplates, and made known to them the metals of the earth, and the art of working them, and bracelets, and ornaments, and the use of antimony, and the beautifying of the eyelids, and all kinds of costly stones, and all two coloring tinctures. And there arose much godlessness, and they committed fornication. And they three were led astray, and became corrupt in all their ways. Some Jaza taught enchantments, and root cuttings, Armaros the resolving of enchantments, Barakigil taught astrology, Cockable the constellations, Ezekiel the knowledge of the clouds, Erekiel the signs of the earth, Shamzeel the signs of the sun, and Sariel the course of the moon. And as men perished, they cried, and their cry went up to heaven. Chapter 9 one, and then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being too shed upon the earth, and all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth. And they said one to another, The earth made without inhabitant cries the voice of their creeing stopped to the gates of heaven. Three, and now to you, the holy ones of heaven, the souls of men make their suit, saying, Bring our cause for before the Most High. And they said to the Lord of the ages, Lord of lords, God of gods, King of kings, and God of the ages, the throne of thy glory standeth unto all the generations of the five ages, and thy name holy and glorious and blessed unto all the ages. Thou hast made all things, and power over all things haste thou, and all things are naked and open in thy sight. And thou seest all six things, and nothing can hide itself from thee. Thou seest what Azazel hath done, who hath taught all unrighteousness on earth, and revealed the eternal secrets which were preserved in heaven, which seven men were striving to learn. And Simjaza, to whom thou hast given authority to bear rule over his associates. And they have gone to the daughters of men upon the earth, and have slept with the nine women, and have defiled themselves, and revealed to them all kinds of sins. And the women have ten born giants, and the whole earth has thereby been filled with blood and unrighteousness. And now, behold, the souls of those who have died are crying and making their suit to the gates of heaven, and their lamentations have ascended, 
and cannot cease because of the lawless deeds which are eleven wrought on the earth. And thou knowest all things before they come to pass, and thou seest these things, and thou dost suffer them, and thou dost not say to us what we are to do to them in regard to these. Chapter 10 One then said the Most High, The Holy and Great One spake, and sent Uriel to the son of Lamech, too, and said to him, Go to Noah and tell him in my name, Hide thyself, and reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed, and a deluge is about to come three upon the whole earth, and will destroy all that is on it. And now instruct him that he may escape for, and his seed may be preserved for all the generations of the world. And again the Lord said to Raphael, Bind Azizel hand and foot, and cast him into the darkness, and make an opening five in the desert, which is in Dudale, and cast him therein, and place upon him rough and jagged rocks, and cover him with darkness, and let him abide there forever, and cover his face that he may six, seven not see light. And on the day of the great judgment he shall be cast into the fire, and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted, and proclaim the healing of the earth, that they may heal the plague, and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the eight watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. And the whole earth has been corrupted nine through the works that were taught by Azazel. To him ascribe all sin. And to Gabriel said the Lord, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates, and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers from amongst men, and cause them to go forth. Send them one against the other that they may destroy each other in ten battle. For length of days shall they not have, and no request that they, i.e., their fathers make of these shall be granted unto their fathers on their behalf. For they hope to live an eternal life, and eleven that each one of them will live five hundred years. And the Lord said unto Michael, Go, bind Simjaza and his associates who have united themselves with women, so as to have defiled themselves twelve with them in all their uncleanness. And when their sons have slain one another, and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, Bind them fast for seventy generations in the valleys of the earth, till the day of their judgment and of their consummation, till the judgment that is thirteen for ever and ever is consummated. In those days they shall be led off to the abyss of fire, and fourteen to the torment and the prison in which they shall be confined for ever. And whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from thenceforth be bound together with them to the end of all fifteen generations and destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the children of the watchers. Because sixteen they have wronged mankind. Destroy all wrong from the face of the earth, and let every evil work come to an end, and let the plan of righteousness and truth appear, and it shall prove a blessing. The works of righteousness and truth shall be planted in truth and joy forevermore. Seventeen, and then shall all the righteous escape, and shall live till they beget thousands of children, and all the days of their youth and their old age shall they complete in peace. 18. And then shall the whole earth be tilled in righteousness, and shall all be planted with trees, and 19. Be full of blessing. And all desirable trees shall be planted on it, and they shall plant vines on it, and the vine which they plant thereon shall yield wine in abundance. And as for all the seed which is sown thereon, each measure of it shall bear a thousand, and each measure of olives shall yield twenty ten presses of oil. And cleanse thou the earth from all oppression, and from all unrighteousness, and from all sin, and from all godlessness, and all the uncleanness that is wrought upon the earth twenty-one destroy from off the earth. And all the children of men shall become righteous, and all nations twenty-two shall offer adoration and shall praise me, and all shall worship me. And the earth shall be cleansed from all defilement, and from all sin, and from all punishment, and from all torment, and I will never again send them upon it from generation to generation and forever. Chapter 11 one, and in those days I will open the store chambers of blessing which are in the heaven, so as to send to them down upon the earth over the work and labor of the children of men. And truth and peace shall be associated together throughout all the days of the world and throughout all the generations of men. Chapter 12 One before these things Enoch was hidden, and no one of the children of men knew where he was too hidden, and where he abode, and what had become of him. And his activities had to do with the watchers, and his days were with the holy ones, 3 And I, Enoch, was blessing the Lord of Majesty and the King of the Ages. And lo, the watchers four called me Enoch the scribe and said to me, Enoch, thou scribe of righteousness, go, declare to the watchers of the heaven who have left the high heaven, the holy eternal place, and have defiled themselves with women, and have done as the children of earth do, and have taken unto themselves five wives. Ye have wrought great destruction on the earth, and ye shall have no peace nor forgiveness six of sin, 
and inasmuch as they delight themselves in their children. The murder of their beloved ones shall they see, and over the destruction of their children shall they lament, and shall make supplication unto eternity. But mercy and peace shall ye not attain. Chapter 13 One and Enoch went and said, Azazel, thou shalt have no peace. A severe sentence has gone forth too against thee to put thee in bonds, and thou shalt not have toleration nor request granted to thee, because of the unrighteousness which thou hast taught, and because of all the works of godlessness three and unrighteousness and sin which thou hast shown to men. Then I went and spoke to them all four together, and they were all afraid, and fear and trembling seized them, and they besought me to draw up a petition for them that they might find forgiveness, and to read their petition in the presence five of the Lord of heaven. For from thenceforward they could not speak with him, nor lift up their six eyes to heaven for shame of their sins for which they had been condemned. Then I wrote out their petition, and the prayer in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually, and in regard to their seven requests that they should have forgiveness in length. And I went off and sat down at the waters of Dan, in the land of Dan, to the south of the west of Hermon. I read their petition till I fell eight asleep. And behold, a dream came to me, and visions fell down upon me, and I saw visions of chastisement. And a voice came bidding me I to tell it to the sons of heaven, and reprimand them. Nine, and when I awaked, I came unto them, and they were all sitting gathered together, weeping in ten Abel's jail, which is between Lebanon and Senesar, with their faces covered. And I recounted before them all the visions which I had seen in sleep. And I began to speak the words of righteousness, and to reprimand the heavenly watchers. Chapter 14 1. The book of the words of righteousness, and of the reprimand of the eternal watchers in accordance to with the command of the Holy Great One in that vision. I saw in my sleep what I will now say with the tongue of flesh, and with the breath of my mouth, which the Great One has given to men to three converse therewith and understand with the heart. As He has created and given to man the power of understanding the word of wisdom, so hath He created me also, and given me the power of reprimanding for the watchers, the children of heaven. I wrote out your petition, and in my vision it appeared thus, that your petition will not be granted unto you throughout all the days of eternity, and that judgment five has been finally passed upon you. Yea, your petition will not be granted unto you. And from henceforth you shall not ascend into heaven unto all eternity. And in bonds of the earth the decree six has gone forth to bind you for all the days of the world. And that previously you shall have seen the destruction of your beloved sons, and ye shall have no pleasure in them. But they shall fall before seven you by the sword. And your petition on their behalf shall not be granted, nor yet on your own. Even though you weep and pray and speak all the words contained in the writing which I have eight written, and the vision was shown to me thus, Behold, in the vision clouds invited me and a mist summoned me, and the course of the stars and the lightning sped and hastened me, and the winds and nine, the vision caused me to fly and lifted me upward, and bore me into heaven. And I went in till I drew nigh to a wall which is built of crystals and surrounded by tongues of fire, and it began to affright ten me. And I went into the tongues of fire, and drew nigh to a large house, which was built of crystals. And the walls of the house were like a tessellated floor made of crystals, and its groundwork was a leaven of crystal. Its ceiling was like the path of the stars and the lightnings, and between them were twelve fiery cherubim, and their heaven was clear as water. A flaming fire surrounded the walls, and its thirteen portals blazed with fire. And I entered into that house, and it was hot as fire and cold as ice. There fourteen were no delights of life therein, Fear covered me, and trembling got hold upon me. And as I quaked fifteen and trembled, I fell upon my face. And I beheld a vision, and lo, there was a second house, greater sixteen than the former. And the entire portal stood open before me, and it was built of flames of fire. And in every respect it so excelled in splendor and magnificence and extent that I cannot describe to seventeen you its splendor and its extent. And its floor was of fire, and above it were lightnings and the path eighteen of the stars. And its ceiling also was flaming fire, and I looked and saw therein a lofty throne. Its appearance was as crystal, and the wheels thereof as the shining sun. And there was the vision of nineteen cherubim. And from underneath the throne came streams of flaming fire, so that I could not look twenty thereon. And the great glory sat thereon, and his raiment shone more brightly than the sun, and twenty-one was whiter than any snow. None of the angels could enter and could behold his face by reason twenty-two of the magnificence and glory, and no flesh could behold him. The flaming fire was round about him, and a great fire stood before him, and none around could draw nigh him. Ten thousand times twenty-three ten thousand stood before him, yet he needed no counselor. 
And the most holy ones who were twenty-four nigh to him did not leave by night nor depart from him. And until then I had been prostrate on my face, trembling. And the Lord called me with his own mouth, and said to me, Come hither, twenty-five Enoch, and hear my word. And one of the holy ones came to me and waked me, and he made me rise up and approach the door, and I bowed my face downwards. Chapter 15 One, and he answered and said to me, and I heard his voice, Fear not, Enoch, thou righteous two man and scribe of righteousness, approach hither and hear my voice, and go, say to the watchers of heaven, who have sent thee to intercede for them. You should intercede for men, and not men three for you. Wherefore have ye left the high, holy, and eternal heaven, and lain with women, and defiled yourselves with the daughters of men, and taken to yourselves wives, and done like the children for of earth, and begotten giants as your sons? And though ye were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life, you have defiled yourselves with the blood of women, and have begotten children with the blood of flesh. And, as the children of men, have lusted after flesh and blood, as those also do who die five and perish. Therefore have I given them wives also, that they might impregnate them, and beget six children by them, that thus nothing might be wanting to them on earth. But you were formerly seven spiritual, living the eternal life, and immortal for all generations of the world. And therefore I have not appointed wives for you. For as for the spiritual ones of the heaven, in heaven is their dwelling. Eight and now, the giants, who are produced from the spirits in flesh, shall be called evil spirits upon nine the earth, and on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies, because they are born from men and from the holy watchers is their beginning and primal origin. Ten they shall be evil spirits on earth, and evil spirits shall they be called. As for the spirits of heaven, and heaven shall be their dwelling. But as for the spirits of the earth which were born upon the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction on the earth, and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless twelve hunger and thirst, and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. Chapter 16 One from the days of the slaughter and destruction and death of the giants, from the souls of whose flesh the spirits, having gone forth, shall destroy without incurring judgment, thus shall they destroy until the day of the consummation, the great judgment in which the age shall be too consummated, over the watchers and the godless, yea, shall be wholly consummated. And now, as to the watchers who have sent thee to intercede for them, who had been aforetime in heaven, say three to them, You have been in heaven, but all the mysteries had not yet been revealed to you, and you knew worthless ones, and these in the hardness of your hearts you have made known to the women, and through these mysteries women and men work much evil on earth. For say to them, therefore, you have no peace. Chapter 17 One, and they took and brought me to a place in which those who were there were like flaming fire. Two, and when they wished, they appeared as men, and they brought me to the place of darkness, and to a mountain the point of whose summit reached to heaven. And I saw the places of the luminaries and the treasuries of the stars and of the thunder, and in the uttermost depths where were four a fiery bow and arrows and their quiver, and a fiery sword and all the lightnings. And they took five me to the living waters, and to the fire of the west, which receives every setting of the sun. And I came to a river of fire in which the fire flows like water and discharges itself into the great sea toward six the west. I saw the great rivers and came to the great river and to the great darkness, and went seven to the place where no flesh walks. I saw the mountains of the darkness of winter, and the place eight whence all the waters of the deep flow. I saw the mouths of all the rivers of the earth and the mouth of the deep. Chapter 18 When I saw the treasuries of all the winds, I saw how he had furnished with them the whole creation too, and the firm foundations of the earth. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four three winds which bear the earth and the firmament of the heaven. And I saw how the winds stretch out the vaults of heaven and have their station between heaven and earth. These are the pillars four of the heaven. I saw the winds of heaven which turn and bring the circumference of the sun and five all the stars to their setting. I saw the winds on the earth carrying the clouds. I saw the path six of the angels. I saw at the end of the earth the firmament of the heaven above. And I proceeded and saw a place which burns day and night, where there are seven mountains of magnificent stones, seven three towards the east and three towards the south. And as for those towards the east, was of colored stone, and one of pearl, and one of jacinth, and those towards the south of red stone. Eight, but the middle one reached to heaven like the throne of God, of alabaster, and the summit of the nine-ten throne was of sapphire. 
and I saw a flaming fire. And beyond these mountains is a region the end of the great earth. There the heavens were completed. And I saw a deep abyss with columns of heavenly fire. And among them I saw columns of fire fall, which were beyond measure alike towards twelve the height and towards the depth. And beyond that abyss I saw a place which had no firmament of the heaven above, and no firmly founded earth beneath it. There was no water upon it, and no thirteen birds, but it was a waste and horrible place. I saw there seven stars like great burning mountain, fourteen and to me. When I inquired regarding them, the angel said, This place is the end of heaven and earth. This has become a prison for the stars and the host of heaven. And the stars which roll over the fire are they which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord in the beginning of sixteen their rising, because they did not come forth at their appointed times. And he was wroth with them, and bound them till the time when their guilt should be consummated even for ten thousand years. Chapter 19 One and Uriel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their spirits assuming many different forms are defiling mankind, and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand, till the day of the great judgment in two which they shall be judged till they are made an end of. And the women also of the angels who three went astray shall become sirens. And I, Enoch, alone saw the vision, the ends of all things, and no man shall see as I have seen. Chapter 20 One, two, and these are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels, who is three over the world and over Tartarus, Raphael, one of the holy angels, who is over the spirits of men. 4. 5. Regal, one of the holy angels who takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries. Michael, one six of the holy angels, to wit, he that is set over the best part of mankind and over chaos. Serakel, seven one of the holy angels, who is set over the spirits, who sin in the spirit. Gabriel, one of the holy eight angels, who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubim. Ramil, one of the holy angels, whom God set over those who rise. Chapter 21 One, two, and I proceeded to where things were chaotic, and I saw there something horrible. I saw neither three a heaven above nor a firmly founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And there I saw four seven stars of the heaven bound together in it, like great mountains and burning with fire. Then five I said, For what sin are they bound, and on what account have they been cast in hither? Then said Uriel, one of the holy angels, who was with me, and was chief over them, and said, Enoch, why six dost thou ask, and why art thou eager for the truth? These are of the number of the stars of heaven, which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord, and are bound here till ten thousand years, seven the time entailed by their sins, are consummated. And from thence I went to another place, which was still more horrible than the former, and I saw a horrible thing a great fire there which burnt and blazed, and the place was cleft as far as the abyss, being full of great descending columns of eight fire. Neither its extent or magnitude could I see, nor could I conjecture. Then I said, How nine fearful is the place and how terrible to look upon. Then Uriel answered me, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, Enoch, why hast thou such fear and affright? And ten I answered, Because of this fearful place, and because of the spectacle of the pain, and he said unto me, This place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be imprisoned forever. Chapter 22 